anterior cruciate ligament. Goes from the middle to the front. Middle to the front. How do you know the, the front? The patella is there. So if it's the anterior, from the middle to the front. Posterior, middle to the back. Um, medial and lateral meniscus. We go back to the front. Here's the medial meniscus, lateral meniscus. Tell that from where the fibula is. Medial, lateral. Then we have a lateral collateral ligament, medial collateral ligament. And that's the end of the knee model. We move on to the cell model. We've got a cell model. Most of our stuff will probably be on this one. Golgi apparatus. It's in green. It's layers. Works there. Then we have smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This one's labeled in brown. And the reason we basically know this is different than that is they color that one green. They color this one brown. And this brown matches the rough endoplasmic reticulum. That looks like you put donut sprinkles on top of it. And that's the rough one. These are denoting all the little ribosomes that are making proteins on it. Then we have um, mitochondria. They look kind of like little sausages. And inside you can see the matrix and the, cri and the cristae. And they look like little sausages here and here, 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 and there. Um, those are the mitochondria. Vesicles, little round balls, like there, kind of pouched off of these. I'm not sure if the four means lysosomes or the yellow ones are lysosomes or just big vesicles. Um, those, are ves those are vesicles, vesicles here. There's a little green vesicle there. Hard to know. Nucleus, big huge honky thing in the center. Contains the chromosomes, it's right there. So that's the nucleus. Okay, onto the microscopic bone model, which I think is right over there. Hey, well, we can get it brought to us. We got a bone model. All right. First thing, bone model. This whole thing, this whole target-like thing, I'll tilt it up so you guys can see it. This whole thing that looks like a target, all these little individual circles, is called one osteon. It's a compact bone. Now, what we have on the bone model, we have a central canal. It's got arteries, veins, nerves. Central canal inside the osteon. We have little channels that connect out, supplying blood, nutrients, and such to the individual osteocytes. These little channels are called caniculi, basically little itty bitty can canals. Then we have um, lacuna, the spaces. Then we have um, osteocytes. They're hiding in the lacuna. And then we have perforating canals. This does not show perforating canals. Perforating canals are big canals connecting the osteons. We're not going to have connecting canals on the test because we don't have any perforating canals. Um, concentric lamina, lamellae. Concentric lamellae. Each one of these circles is an individual lamellae. And you notice they're concentric and they go out. And that is the microscopic bone model. Integument. Hey, let's go talk about the integument. We've got no model. we got a picture. On the test, I'm going to cover up the writing, and you guys get to identify the parts. Epidermis. Dermis. Um, subcutaneous. OK, epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous. And then we have um, the, let's see, erector pili muscles right there. Okay, they pull up the hairs causing goosebumps. We should have a sweat gland. Should be a sweat gland in there. Uh, where is that? There's a spacious gland. Ah, uh, there's a sweat gland. And then we have a spacious gland. So sweat gland, spacious gland. And that's our integumentary model, our integumentary system. Which means we're on our last step. Time to muscles. Loads of fun. All the fun in the world, we got muscles. We'll clear away the skeleton. We'll let this guy put his leg down and arm.